بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد آسم آئی ایم ورکنگ ایز ڈیو آف سی انجینئر ان دس ویڈیو گائز آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ون مور ویڈیو ود ریگارڈ ٹو دا جینکنز گیٹ لیب انٹیگریشن بٹ دس ٹائم آئی وانٹ ٹو انکلوڈ سی آئی پارٹ ود گیٹ لیب اینڈ سی ڈی پارٹ ود جینکنز سو واٹ آئی ہیو ڈن آئی ہیو اپڈیٹیڈ دا ایگزسٹنگ ریپوزٹری ایز آئی already created a video with regard to the GitLab integration with Jenkins and you guys have watched the video and liked it. So I just want to add it, uh, add one more, you can say use case with that. So in this video, what uh, we will be doing, um, if I navigate to my private GitLab repository, what I have done, I've included this GitLab CAE.ml file and in my public repository, I've added the same file. So what you need to do is to create .gitlabca.yaml file and what we will be doing in this file we will be build our uh, we will be building our application image in the gitlab and we are going to deploy cd part is going to be deployed through jenkins and ci part is going to be which is the continuous in integration uh, is going to be through the gitlab so um, we are going to build that and in that particular private uh, repository uh, what we will be doing um, we will be um, building our image there is a docker file and uh, after building that image we are going to push that particular image to our private gitlab registry so in past video i've already shown you guys how we can do that also do all stuff uh, in containers Uh, but this time we are going to use the build process through the GitLab and uh, this is the exact uh, CI YAML file. This is the docker simple file where I will be um, pushing my code uh, to my GitLab private repository and this is my application. Let me show you my application is that this is very tiny index.html and I'm going to update that. So currently the version of my application is this uh, server.cloudgeeks.tk801. So this is the version uh, I'm running. So I want to build it, uh, build my new version of application in GitLab and I want to deploy it. Then after if every test goes well, then I'm going to deploy that on my server and it is going to be through uh, Jenkins. So let's begin. So it is very simple. Um, I've added everything for you guys. So let me open this uh, directory in my VS code. So I just want to update my application version to different. Let's suppose um, I've updated my application and let me change the color to um, uh, let me see what color we have right now. Red. Let me change the color to yellow. Okay, so seems like yellow. Uh, so I wanna uh, deploy this application. So what I'm gonna do? I've already cloned this repository and I'm going to commit this uh, once done. So this color uh, seems fine. So I'm gonna update this red to yellow. And once I push my code, uh, automatic build process is going to be uh, started. So if I do git status, you see uh, we updated our application just for your understanding, very simple stuff. So if I do git status and I'm going to commit this, git commit hyphen m um, application version updated to yellow just an example and um, i'm gonna push it get push and it is going to push to the main branch you see this is the main branch currently we are using in our past videos as well so uh, if i navigate to this section uh, you will see that um, if i navigate to pipelines you will see uh if sorry navigate to the ca cd pipeline it is going to automatically trigger that pipeline for us you see it is now running um, i'm going to check it if it is successful the build process uh, and then i'm going to deploy this is the continuous integration through the automatic push of my you see code uh, the ci 
process automatically started as a as soon as i push to my gitlab repository and if everything goes well what uh, after um, every test or continuous integration of our application then we will move to the next step and the next step is going to be the deployment of our application through Jenkins. So um, currently I'm watching um, the steps uh, you see. So it seems that everything goes well. So just assume that we this is a big pipeline and we have done a lot of you know build process testing and now um, this job is succeeded um, and this is my might be dev or production server now i want to deploy it and currently this version is up and running so i'm going to deploy i want to deploy this uh, new version of my application so i click the build uh, button let me click it one more time okay the server is stopped let me start it i will be back with you guys in a moment so guys uh, what i've done uh, my server was stopped i uh, started again and um we have uh, in past uh, this is the version uh, we have so um let me try to build now so as i told you that the ci part i already showed you guys which is the continuous integration everything goes well our test build of image is fine this Jenkins server has uh, deployed somewhere else. So now it has issues. I have to check that. Um, I'm going to also, you know, see all the issues with regard to uh, with you guys. So uh, you see, uh, it has the socket issues. So if you face this issue, uh, which means that the permission with regard to the um, Jenkins user is not updated so um i'm going to update uh, that as well so let me show you that uh, what is mean by that so if i navigate to history uh, i need to show you guys that um, this is the socket command i showed you in my previous video the jenkins is unable to use that particular docker socket so if i update uh, this uh, i'm going to run this command again so what it does jenkins user has now uh, permission to use that socket right so you make sure that um, uh, you should run this command uh, before you know setting up the configuration of Jenkins in a container I've al already shown this command uh, to you so hopefully uh, this will be a fix and it seems like uh, it is now successful so um, this is uh, the some debug and debugging stuff with regard to the permissions. So let's see what we have now So you see our application which we build uh, this is the application version uh, which we build um, and pushed uh, I mean we tested locally and pushed to GitLab from there uh, the build process has started and then you see um, this is the build process started in GitLab and the deployment process uh, be done through Jenkins. That's it guys. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Have a nice day.